everybody. This is Mel Kerr from Mel's Photo Joy in Pecatonica, Illinois. And tonight I have a guest speaker with me, Charles Kerr. Hi, everybody. <laughs> hey, Charles. Thanks for coming and helping me with my podcast this evening. No problem. Uh, you know, well, he's an English teacher, folks, and I've been married for 32 wonderful years. And he, he planned our trip out to Arizona Um where we were at the Grand Canyon, and I'm gonna, you know, Charles, why did you decide that you wanted to go to the North Rim? Um, we've been to the South Rim, and it's, it is so heavily trafficked, and um, it's really hard to get some of that serenity and an opportunity to just enjoy nature, and so I wanted you to get to experience something that the vast majority of people who go to the Grand Canyon never actually see, which is the canyon from the north side. It's only open half the year about, and I would say it probably has one-fourth of the people who come to visit it compared to the south rim. So you really get a much more serene environment and um, a much better chance to experience the true beauty of, of the nature of that area. Yes, it's a very, very beautiful <clears throat> area. Um, we were up in the mountains, you know, we had to hike and we had to make sure that we were mindful of what gear we had with us. I had my, uh, camera case and my camera backpack with my TX30 Fujifilm mirrorless camera and the new landscape lens, the 16 millimeter prime that you got me for Mother's Day. So, uh, so we were going to a new place with new equipment and, um... What did you What did you think we needed to take with us? What, what are all the stuff that we have to jam in the car? Well, <clears throat> since we've gone so many other places, you'd kind of figured out that environments and weather change all the time wherever you're at, and it's you can't ever count on anything to stay the same from the beginning of the day to the end. So everywhere we went, I always wanted to make sure we had plenty of snacks, plenty of proteins, plenty of carbs to to be able to sustain us. Lots and lots and lots of fluids. Um, it's, because when it gets really hot, you just need a lot. And there's no place to go get it. it it's on you or you don't have it. Um, also to have prepared with some rain gear in case you needed it. Um, and outside of that, really just making sure you had some good solid footwear. And Yeah, those, those <laughs> Columbia uh, hiking boots that we went up and bought at Johnson Creek at the Outlet Mall were absolutely fabulous. I don't think I could have done as well without those shoes. So, um, we spent the day at the Grand Canyon. Walk us through that a little bit, Charles. Just briefly, where did we go that day? Well, I had planned out for us to make a trip so that we, we had a few options. One, if we really, really, really wanted to push it hard, we could have gone, um, to a couple other locations. But since we had grandchildren and all with us, we decided that we would uh, focus on the trek that takes you into from the entrance out to what's called Cape Final, which is a really beautiful spot. Um, I've been to the North Rim before I met my wife a couple of times when I lived in Arizona, and me and friends would go out there, and we've been to the South Rim a lot of times, but the North Rim a couple of times. And Cape Final uh, is one of those really cool places. Um, and so I wanted to make sure that we got to see that. And along the way, uh, you you pass by a couple other pretty scenic spots that are along the trip uh, to get to that spot. And they're kind of the ones that everybody gets to see if you ever actually go to the North Rim. So most people will, will definitely stop and see Cape Royal because it's not a big forever walk to get there. Um <clears throat> Right, let's clarify there. It's Cape Royal and Cape Final. Yes. Um, so we <laughs> Cape Final is about four and a half miles, maybe not quite four and a half, up through some rugged, uh, beautiful forests and up to the, to the elevated place, Cape Final. Um, tell us what happened. We finally made it up to the rock. Well, everything else you go to is is fenced in. If you go to Cape Royal and you go to Angel's Window and all these other cool places, when you get to the edges, they're all there's a fence there to protect you from falling over the side. 
But Cape Final is a hike out to the edge of the canyon. And when you get out there, after you've hiked for a couple of miles, you literally can walk up out onto the rocks and look out over the edge of, of the canyon with nothing between you and the floor. It's, it's just open to you. So it is a beautiful experience. And while we were there enjoying this, uh, you could feel the weather start to change. And you could feel the temperatures start to drop, yeah. the wind pick up. Um, you looked across to the south side, and there was a big storm coming. Yes, and got scary pretty quick. <laughs> electric in the air. Uh, everybody's hair started standing on end. <laughs> uh, my wife got a little scared. It was like, we got to go, we got to go. Yeah, my son's phone started going on. <laughs> like this alert, and then all of a sudden this gust of wind came. And <laughs> my daughter-in-law's hair went crazy. And I went low. I got low <laughs> and I scurried off the rock down to the safe place. And then I looked for my grandchildren. <laughs> so, yeah, we um, we enjoyed a quite a bit of time up there enjoying the view and the experience and getting photographs and all. But when that rolled in, it was time to go because we had about a two and a half mile hike to try to beat that storm out of there. And... With grandchildren and scooping them and carrying them and then letting them walk and just trying to get through the pine for and, and the pine trees are huge and with that wind whipping through them you know they're swaying back and forth hard and it, it can get a little unnerving and there's no place to go you're either going to hunker down in there or you're going to get out of there so we were trying to get back to the cars and being able to leave there. Well, Charles, thank you so much for planning this special trip to the North Rim. Uh, it was a, a great experience, something I'll never forget. And thank you for being part of my podcast this evening. Um, thank you, everybody, for listening. Uh, don't forget to comment or like this podcast. And uh, thank you, Charles, again. And everybody have a great evening. You're welcome.